everybody. Casey Zero of Yaya and Tom and Duke. He's getting a little wound up here. He, his cats, his two playmates, the cats are out walking around. Yeah, that is a microphone. Why don't you go get your cats? Go get them. Um, we're going to talk a little about a, the Comdrop CJ1 here. We'll call this update number three. Excuse me, I got dog hair in my nose again. Right? What? <sighs> to be a crawly dog. Um, what we had to do is I had to send mine back in um, for another ROM um, for the Android side. Some modifications in that. Uh, they thought we could do it over the air, but you know, it didn't work out. Which they were kind of scratching and said, oh, we've done it before. And said, no. When it comes to firmwares and ROM updates, I don't want to do it unless I absolutely have to. I have bricked more computers that way. And also, once we get that done, um, I didn't realize I had to update to the latest uh, version of the uh, Comjot app, the CJ1 app. So, why don't we um, talk, you know, go to the workbench on that. I had somebody, I can't remember if it was here on my channel or somebody else's channel, asked the questions about how hard is it to set one of these up so what we'll do here um uh, we'll set this one up um i'm not going to do the google side because it's pretty easy how to do google i'm not going to worry about the sim card from my phone carrier because you stick the card in and do what they want you to do each one's a little different we're not going to do it and uh, we'll go from there and i made a couple little mistakes here when i shot that part of the video so we'll just kind of work through there we'll talk about what's wrong and i'll try to edit it out if i can and we'll go from there. Let's take a look at uh, setting up the Comjet CJ1. Here we got the CJ1 on the workbench. We'll go ahead and get it started up. And like I said, some of these wait states can be quite lengthy. So we'll use the magic of the editing suite to get through them. It's finally up and running. You can select your language. If you, I'll get the light here a little better so we can see. If you want to change from English to United States, you just tap it. And it'll show you all the languages that this radio, this version of Android can handle. We'll hit the start button. This is where it wants to connect to the mobile network. So we're not, we'll do that later, so we'll hit skip. Now we'll want to connect to the local Wi-Fi so it can finish up. So I'll select one of my Wi-Fi and save you guys the painstaking watching me type horribly. We'll just zip through this. Now we'll let it connect to the Wi-Fi. This is a major, very long two to three minute uh, handshake here, uh, registering the phone and any updates it's getting in the system, it's downloading, getting the system up. So let's make a big jump in the editing suite here. Checking some of the last information, verifying everything is correct. Now Google popped up and again we'll skip out of Google, fairly straightforward, but to get out of Google it's got quite a bit of skip buttons you got to push. And they'll come back and ask, are you sure you want to do it? See if we'll scroll down, skip. And this will skip again. Then down here we have to scroll all the way down to change that more button into accept. And now we'll set the, a pin number if you want a pin. You do not have to set a pin, just leave it blank. There the pin is set. Again, my poor typing skills. And then we're in the final phases of the phone's getting ready for its first boot up and there we are Android 14 I am not a real Android user uh, it's been a while since I had an Android phone I was just kind of sitting here wondering why that lower bar is bouncing like that I think that has something to do with the you know the boot up and the process there just one page up right now that's the widget side we'll scroll down to where all the apps are we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom of our unified app is we'll go ahead and launch that And we'll have to set some permissions on the the app to do what you feel comfortable with. And it looked like that, that is from Android there. We'll get out of that. It looks like the Unified app is up and ready. The hardware is up and ready. So we'll go ahead and program the local repeater. You can go in there and punch it in. Save your, the painstaking watch me type. So I'll hit the program the radio. And there we are. Now when I go ahead and key this up, you'll see it'll switch to the transmit side and the type is, you know, is red. There we go. Now we need to get this to sync up with the server and the website. So you want to go into the cloud, 
they'll give you a registration number you go to their website put that number in here you will actually connect that device to your account and you can have multiple radios on your account if you feel that is needed except now you can actually go into some of the settings you can DMR number you can set the APRS dash number you can do kind of like a Mars mod to allow it to work outside of the handband and we'll go ahead and accept all this now the other thing that you need to do is the computer you want to talk to you want to have multiple computers be able to talk to the screen you have to make sure you register those with us okay now that we have this tied in to the website and their servers one thing i did not shoot and i wish i would have remembered that to update the unified app what you have to do is open up the browser on the device and go to comjot.com slash latest download that file run the file on the radio then reboot the radio then you have the latest and greatest app latest version go ahead and we'll fire this up Initially in hardware. Uh, one thing that they were telling me is when you turn on the radio, wait a good minute, 30 seconds to a minute before you launch the app. That makes sure the RF board is up and running. Um, one thing I came across I thought was kind of cool. If you go to here to settings, um, down here, system settings, it's got closed caption. You can actually turn this on. I got it turned off for now, but we can turn that on. And now we'll have closed caption on any audio come out of the system it's, it's a neat little feature it's not a hundred percent accuracy but i'd say it's anywhere from 85 to 90 percent i was quite impressed by it so now if we have a operator amateur radio operator that is deaf or has a hard time hearing sort of like me you can at least follow along with the closed caption the scan function isn't quite there yet uh, options again this is kind of neat you can turn on and off your aprs uh, over the IP, you can look up call signs. The exit application is a clean exit out of the application, and we'll go back to our main screen. And again, to remember to program the channel, you can either three ways. You can use cloud memory, which you set up on the website, and I've done that before. Here, we'll go to our specials, and we'll grab. Uh, doo -doo -doo, the. Uh, NCC channel, or you can use the unified repeater directory. Now those two, you have to make sure you have some type of internet connection, or you can just go into the standard, you know, select analog and punch these in manually. Go down here, set your frequency, your wide or narrow band. Uh, if you've got any type of tone control, that's how you set up. You can do that all the time. So, so now we got the latest ROM, the latest version of the app, and you saw, and I spent most of the other day, we had a snow day here in North Iowa. I had a very good old time blizzard. Load up all the apps on that. One thing I like to use this radio for is, this is an Android phone. I can download an app called Police Scanner and I can have it scan in the local um, or the next county, whatever I want to do. It's, just, it's a nice way to keep up on stuff. And again, now I only have to carry one device. Um, this what does have two SIMs. I don't think I'll pull out my SIM out of my Apple, my iPhone. I'll use that as my main phone, and this is the you know my sec my backup phone or the second phone. Or as I told the kids, if this thing rings, we got trouble. So <laughs> the the number on this phone I'm mainly handing out to the uh, EMS and the first responders and the emergency management people on that. You know, try to keep this number for that purpose. Um, Right now, I did put my Ting chip uh, SIM card back into it, even though Ting says this radio will not work on Ting. Works great. I mean, I'm really impressed. Um, a couple of the guys at Comjot found out that a way to put it on Mint Mobile, which is also on the T-Mobile network, and they have a real low cost um, rate right now. It's $15 a month, uh, unlimited calls, unlimited text, and 5 gig of data. You have to buy three months in advance or six months or a year in advance. I may switch over to that so I have data on this. Um, you know, so we'll go from there on this. The Before we uh, wrap up, if you have not followed 
uh, Comdrat on Facebook, you may want to check into that. Just take a gander, see what they got going. There's a lot of us are talking in there, showing stuff of what we're doing with our radios. Also, on Fridays, Joe will announce it sometime on what time the um, drawing will be. They've been doing some drawings every Friday. Uh, they see they gave away a unit in hand scanner, a small one of those lithium UPS units, power box. Uh, last week, they um, gave away a mobile radio, 2 meter 440 radio. And I think this week is a SDR uh pi radio something along that sign and um again and we usually when we're in there in, in a zoom meeting when they get ready to do it there's a lot of talking back and forth what's going on uh, again if you're sitting on the fence thinking about buying one of these you may want to just stop there at the facebook page read some of the comments that's going on or get into the zoom and just listen you get you know but I, right now i'm really happy with this there are a little rough periods in this uh, when I first got it, we had a little stamp. Again, like I said, I was not supposed to get this radio gigapart screwed up. Uh, and Comjet's been, they've been bending over backwards, um, helping me out get this thing going. So I really appreciate that. And like I said, I'm happy. And again, I bought the radio myself. I did not get this given to me. Um, it's got my blood, sweat, and tears uh, on it. So on that, 7 3, everybody. Have fun. I have to run to the cities to pick up my daughter at the airport. She's home on leave. Uh, she's in the Air Force and she was stationed up in northern Japan. She's home for a couple weeks. Uh, spend some time with me, then she heads back. And make sure I take this with me in the Bronco when I go up there so I can hit some of the repeaters up there. Duke, you want to say anything? You're not on the bone. And you got one peed off cat. <sighs> one of these days, Duke, they are going to get you and I am not going to help. 7 3, everybody. Be sure to tell your friends, neighbors, other hams. Subscribe, hit that bell to get notification when new videos come out. Add comments below. 7 3, everybody.